This is a recording of Making Science Beautiful. It is an article about Neil Lowson, which is the reading challenge for Standout 2, Unit 1, pages 34 to 35. On page 34, you see this photograph. What is the title? Can you find it? It's towards the top on the left. You find it in white type, Making Science Beautiful. Who is the article about? Can you find his name? It's in the yellow ribbon after the word explorer. His name is Neil Lawson. Where is he? Is he in the house? Is he in the car? He's outdoors. What is he doing? You see what he has in his hands? What does he say? Let's take a closer look at what he says. When I'm not working on my research, I'm usually working on a film or photography project to bring science to a bigger audience. Neil Lawson. We know those are his words because we see the quote marks, quotation marks, at the beginning and the end of what he says. Here's the word quotation marks, quotation marks. Also notice the mark that comes before his name, which is after the quote. That is called a dash. So this is how we pull out what somebody says so that people can see it. We use quotation marks and we put his name at the end with a dash in front of it. Now let's turn to the text. Do you remember the title? What is the title? Making Science Beautiful. Okay. And who is the interview with? Who is this person? Neil Lawson. Good job. All right, let's turn to the text. It's on page 35. We're going to approach it first before we actually read it. This is called pre-reading. It's the work we do to find our way in the text before we sit down and pay attention to each word. It's very important because it helps us understand each word later. So first, just look at the text. How many paragraphs do you see? A paragraph is kind of like a chunk of text. There are two paragraphs. We know there are two paragraphs because of the space that comes into in front of each one. What do you call that space? Do you know? It is an indent. Now, let's actually look at the paragraphs, but not the whole paragraph, just the first sentence. We're going to take a quick tour. So the first sentence is, my name is Neil Lawson. Now, make a prediction. What do you think the paragraph will be about? Will it be about dogs? Will it be about cooking? What do you think it will be about? Okay, now let's read the first paragraph and find out what it's about. My name is Neil Lawson. I'm a biologist, photographer, and filmmaker. A biologist studies life and living things. I especially like to study lizards, but I'm interested in all animals. I use my photographs and videos to tell stories. I have a company called Day's Edge Productions. My partner in the company is Nate Dappin. He's a photographer and a filmmaker too. With our films, we want to teach people about science, nature, and conservation. Okay, so remember what you thought after you read the first sentence. What did you think the paragraph was going to be about? And was it about that? 
I thought the paragraph was going to be about Neil Lawson because the sentence was, my name is Neil Lawson. And it is about Neil Lawson. It's about what he's interested in and what he does. Now let's read the first sentence of the next paragraph. I have a very busy schedule. So, without reading the paragraph, what do you think the paragraph will be about? Let's read it and see. I have a very busy schedule. I really don't have much free time, but I like to work. I work at the University of California, Los Angeles. When I'm in Los Angeles, I teach, do research, and write papers. I also work in Miami, Florida. When I'm in Florida, I work outside in the hot sun. I look for lizards and other small animals. Now remember what you thought when you read the first sentence, I have a busy schedule. You probably thought, we are going to read about his schedule. Did we read about his schedule? We didn't read about every day, but we read about his general schedule, his work in Los Angeles and his work in Florida. He sounds like a busy man. So the first sentence is usually the topic sentence. That is, the first sentence will tell you the topic of the paragraph, basically what you will read about in the paragraph. Most paragraphs written in the United States have a topic sentence. It's often the first sentence, but that's not always true. Now we're ready to read. Paragraph one. My name is Neil Lawson. I'm a biologist, photographer, and filmmaker. A biologist studies life and living things. I especially like to study lizards, but I'm interested in all animals. I use my photographs and videos to tell stories. I have a company called Day's Edge Productions. My partner in the company is Nate Dappen. He's a photographer and filmmaker too. With our films, we want to teach people about science, nature, and conservation. Let's look at vocabulary. What words in paragraph one got your attention? Okay, the first no word that I noticed in paragraph one is biologist, biologist. How many syllables is that? Biologist, four syllables. Where is the stress? Bio, it's on the second syllable, ya. I can tell because there's a pitch change and it's a little stronger, biologist. The next word is photographer, photographer. How many syllables? Photographer, also four syllables. And where is the stress? Photograph, second syllable, just like biologist, photographer. We'll come back to the word photographs when it shows up in the text. So let's move to filmmaker, 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 filmmaker. How many syllables is that? And where is the stress? Filmmaker. It may be difficult to say L and M. Film, filmmaker. You don't have to make the M longer just because there are two M's. M is naturally a kind of long sound. So don't worry about the fact that there are two M's. Film, filmmaker. The next word is in line two, especially. It looks like especially or especially, but it's not. It's especially. 
This means that the C-I-A is the sound sh. Isn't that weird? C-I can sometimes be sh, but the A we don't pronounce, especially. So it's a three-syllable word with the stress on the second syllable, especially. The next word is also in line two, lizards, lizards. Two syllables, the stress on the first syllable. The next word I chose is photographs. It's in the third line at the beginning. Photographs, how many syllables? Photographs, three syllables. Where is the stress? Photographs, yes, it's on the first syllable. So let's look at these two words that we have in the yellow here, photographer and photographs. They sound different. In photographer, the stress is on the ta. In photographs, the stress is on the fo. There are many other words that work in the same way, but until you know a lot of words, it becomes confusing. So if there's a graph-er on the end, fo will not be stressed. So photographer, if it's just graph on the end, photograph. Okay, the next word I found is after photographs. It's in line three, videos, videos. How many syllables? Notice that we're dividing between the E and the O to change syllables, videos. Where's the stress? All right, the next one is the name of the company, Day's Edge Productions. Productions, Day's Edge Productions. So the S on days connects to the E in edge like it's one word, Day's Edge Productions. Now we have the word film, film. The next word is in line four, science, science. Where's the S-C-I is just an S sound. This is because very often C-I sounds like S, just like the S. So science, two syllables. The I and the E are in different syllables. And the last one, conservation conservation, how many syllables, and where is the stress? Good. Now, let's look at paragraph two. I have a very busy schedule. I really don't have much free time, but I like to work. I work at the University of California, Los Angeles. When I'm in Los Angeles, I teach, do research, and write papers. I also work in Miami, Florida. When I'm in Florida, I work outside in the hot sun. I look for lizards and other small animals. Now to vocabulary. What words got your attention? So let's look at the vocabulary here. The words that got my attention are these in yellow. In line one, the word busy, busy. How many syllables is busy? Two syllables. The stress is on the first syllable, busy. What's odd about the word busy is that the U sounds like an I. It doesn't sound like a U. The next interesting word is also in line one, in the same sentence, sked. Schedule, schedule, how many syllables do you hear? And where is the stress? The odd thing about this word is that the S-C-H sounds like an S-K, sk. Also, the D-U sounds like J, J, like an American J. 
The next interesting thing I found is also in line one, free time. It looks like two words, but it is one word, free time. The stress is on the word free, free time. In line two, we have the place name Los Angeles. Los Angeles, it sounds like one word also. Notice how the S on Los connects to the A in Angeles. Los Angeles. And where is the stress? And Los Angeles. Also in line two, I'd like to draw your attention to do research. Notice that we use the word do when we use the noun research. We do many things. We do homework. We do housework. We do the dishes. We do the shopping. We do the laundry. And we do research. We also do homework. The next word is Miami. It's in line three. Miami. How many syllables is it? And where is the stress? The next word is in line three. It's outside. Outside. That means not indoors. So outside means outside the house or outside a building. Inside means in a house or a building. At the end of line three, we have in the hot sun. Notice that these words are separated when we speak them. We don't say the hot sun because we can't understand that. We say the hot sun, the hot sun. So the word the is attached to hot, the hot sun. In line four, we have the word lizards, lizards. It's two syllables. The stress is on the first syllable. Notice that we don't hear the letter A. Lizards. And the last thing is from line four also. And other small animals. And other. Here the word and and the word other connect. They sound like one word. And other. Or and another and other small animals. Now let's read it again. I have a very busy schedule. I really don't have much free time, but I like to work. I work at the University of California, Los Angeles. When I'm in Los Angeles, I teach, do research, and write papers. I also work in Miami, Florida. When I'm in Florida, I work outside in the hot sun. I look for lizards and other small animals. Let's read the whole thing again. My name is Neil Lawson. I'm a biologist, photographer, and filmmaker. A biologist studies life and living things. I especially like to study lizards, but I'm interested in all animals. I use my photographs and videos to tell stories. I have a company called Day's Edge Productions. My partner in the company is Nate Dappen. He's a photographer and filmmaker too. With our films, we want to teach people about science, nature, and conservation. I have a very busy schedule. I really don't have much free time, but I like to work. I work at the University of California, Los Angeles. When I'm in Los Angeles, I teach, do research, and write papers. I also work in Miami, Florida. When I'm in Florida, I work outside in the hot sun. I look for lizards and other small animals. Good job. Thank you.